you'd think it'd fade, wouldn't you? But that's just a tiny little draw down the fairway. That is right down the banner. Just a hair long. Oh, that's quicker than I thought it was going to be. So it's, it's inside the three feet. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Perhaps it's the change of golf ball. Sometimes you get one of these rock hard balls. Oh, a low hooky one. Is that job done? Wow, it is. Oh, it's running to the back. Yeah, that's, that's an absolutely perfect pace. That's the left edge of the green and it's not coming back. That's too quick. Bye bye. Bye bye. First bogey. But that doesn't, ow, bloody hell. That doesn't matter, you see. One bogey in three holes equals six bogeys in 18 holes, which is my handicap. So why worry about, how worry about it? And I have blocked that over the top of the marker post with a nine foot fade. So I'm gonna say that that is good. And I'm talking too much, ain't I? Yeah, not the prettiest thing on the planet. Isn't it funny? I've been going through stages where I couldn't get the ball to the hole. And now, uh, hitting it with a 10 pound hammer. Oh, and that's bloody perfect. That is a big one too. I was thinking of one of the tee shots I hit on the front nine at, uh, at the Monmouthshire. You know, down those little narrow par fives. Well, that was steep down and across and horribly pulled. Yeah, I got that wrong. Oh, I haven't hit it. And that's a slap draw, which also means it's not gonna reach. Left edge of the green. And about halfway up the green, so job done. That's pretty good for pace, isn't it? Ooh, wandered on a bit. Oh, that's right down the banner. I mean, I think I pushed it about nine inches right of the flag. Hey, at least. Oh, what do you say to that, boys and girls? Oh, that's left of the tree. Go left and I'll love you. Come on, draw a little bit for me, please. It didn't. Where's the divvy? I don't hold anything yet. Yeah. 
and I still haven't hauled anything, but I haven't made a fool of myself either. I got myself my par. And I've kind of like overdone that, but it's in the fairway. Yeah, it hasn't gone very far, but it'll be in the fairway. Oh, what a clunk. Hey, that's, oh, oh dear. Especially when you hit it that sweet. Run out. Oh. And I still haven't. Never mind. Bogey to start the back nine. Yeah, that tee peg was too high. Is it gonna get there? It's disappeared out of sight. There's a little fold of ground between us and the and the green, it's not up on the green. Well, it's not gonna go in, I mean, it's a temporary. But yeah, how big is it? Oh, it's not that much bigger. It's about six, six and a half. Oh dear. Yeah, that is most definitely an oh dear. We're chipping. definitely on it's left of the flag yeah you know a bogey here isn't bad any day of the week so uh, at least I didn't go OB I wasn't far off it mine but at least I wasn't go on hold your line uh, yes yes <laughs> <laughs> Another low draw. Yeah, it's landed short and it's kicked off. It's going down the bank a little bit. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's very pretty. That might be tight. That might be quite tight to the flag. You know, I said it was tight to the flag. Um, it's tight to the flag. I've hit that right at the post with a little draw and it, I've just seen it bounce off to the left. That was a bit steep into the ball, but that's right down the banner. And it's short the green because I was a little fat. Loss already built in. That's only just good enough. I'll tell you what, I'll leave you there a second. Yeah, so the last time I put the putt in. That was a little healy, so that definitely isn't going very far. Yeah, that's a short one. Well, welcome to the quiet bit of the video. Somewhere between the T and here, I've managed to switch off the microphone. I don't know how, I just did. So the rest of this, it's dead quiet. Now after my second lesson, I started playing some really decent golf. But what I did is I overdid one of the things that I was taught, so then it got worse. I had my third lesson and I just couldn't get it in the lesson because I was being shown to do 
the opposite of what I've been doing in the second lesson because I'd overdone it. Instead of taking the aspirin, I swallowed the entire bottle. So it all kind of went a little bit wrong. But it's taken me a couple of range sessions to get it back. So now I'm playing decent golf. Now there's a few loose shots in this. But it is getting better again. And the following day, not the following day, the following round, I really did play decent golf. I really wish that one was in the bunker. It would have been so much easier. In fact, that particular bunker, as you can see, was GUR anyway, so I'd have got to drop out. I'd have been in a better position. So, this having lessons and practicing and playing in the winter is going quite well, quite well indeed. So uh, come January, and it won't be until January that you see this, I should be playing some really good golf and I'll be ready for my holiday. Cheerio!